Oh, I've got a massive jack. Massive mangrove jack. Oh, right under the surface. He's going to destroy me. He's too big. Oh. He's a monster, this one. Please stay high. Please stay high. Because you're massive. Oh, I'm shaking. I've got the shakes. Woo! Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I've just got a free spool because he's... I lost him. Oh, I'm just completely, I'm just a mess, I'm just shaking. He's such a big fish in this tiny water. Have I still even got him on? He's tied a knot here. I can't do anything, I'm just shaking. Oh, he's still on, he's still on, he's still on, he's still on. Oh! Oh, he's way up there. Oh, go mate, go, go, do what you gotta do, but don't come off. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. Get rid of all this crap. Oh, he is a monster that was sitting in about a foot of water. Taking me under all of these mangroves. There's just no way I'm gonna. There's no way I'm getting him out. Unless I just take my time with him. really know what to do here. Oh god, he's, he's still on. He's still on. Ah, I've got the braid wrapped around my fingers. Have you ever seen such a mess? I can't do anything, I'm just shaking, I'm a mess. Well, I've never been like this before, I think it's because I saw him take it. Oh God, he's, he's still on. Still on up here somewhere. Such skinny water. He's wrapped me around old ones that he's where he's snapped other people off. That's someone else's like 50 pounds. Oh, please be still on, mate. Please still be there. Come on, big fella. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. I can feel him kicking, eh? He's still there. Oh, he's still there! I still got him. He's still on. I'm going to have to go swimming, eh? Oh, don't take off. Don't take off. Oh. I've 
getting the feeling like this is going to end so sad because there's just so many knots in the line. He's a massive jack. The one you wait all season for, you know. If he wants to go now, he'll go because I've got I've not got enough line if he wants to run that I can get him out. Come on, old fella. Just let me get a look at you. I don't even want to eat you. Oh, there's crabs and shit everywhere. Oh, he's still on. He's still on and I can feel it. running. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. He is taking the piss. Oh. 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 I'm close so he takes off. He goes nuts. I've got leader, I've got leader, I've got leader. Turn off motor, turn off. I've got leader. Please. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Ah, stop it, stop it. Oh, please. Please, I must be within. Oh, I must be within 20 centimetres of it. No, 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 no. Come here, 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 you massive, massive, massive fish. Come here, you massive fish. Come here, come here, and let me get this under you. Yes, yes. My line's completely gone. That was the most insane shit I've ever done. I've had the fish shake for like 10 minutes with it. when it hit, I saw it roll it and then take it down and this, it's such skinny water, it's probably four, six metres across and I knew I was in trouble, I'm only fishing with 12 pound line bionic braid and a 20 pound leader. He grabbed the prawns, the, the Akuta prawn from about that far under the surface. It's a new spot. I've never fished this before. I had a look on the Google Maps and it just looked amazing. I've not hit one all the way down this skinny water for about four kilometers. I've got about 15 minutes left of fishing. It's only three feet deep. Oh my God. Look at the line it's taken. Like, There'd be 60 metres of line there. And it's... Oh, I'm going to spend all night bloody untangling this. This is Pete's Law. I was just on the phone about 10 minutes ago. Talking to the missus, she said to me, if no one goes there, that might mean it means there's no fish there. Why don't you come home? And I said, Pete's Law, the harder you work, the more you get owned, the bigger fish you're going to get. He's just hooked in the side of the jaw. I'm calling Pete straight after this. He is, an ab he is a brute that has given everything he's got. And the hook just slips straight out. There's the lure that did the damage. Here is the monster. Here is the shallow water warrior that took me to the end. 
Get a load of him. What a fish. I can't do anything. I'm, I'm just a, I'm, I'm a bloody mess. There is line everywhere. Get him to 50. Go to 50. You little beauty. 52. He's worth 60 or 65 bucks for the work I put in for him. Oh, you beautiful fish. Have a look down his gob. He's just made my whole session. He's going, he's going back in. There's no keeping these good ones. But you gotta have a good look at him, don't ya? He's a beauty. I'm a little bit excited. I get it. What a fish. In the tiniest water. You can barely see it on Google Maps. It's just a, a green line of trees. When you zoom in, you can't see the water at all. And it just... It emphasises that point that you just got to go and explore and see the place and go and find new spots because this has got to be the best one I've had in a long, long time, you know. To be out here, I'm screaming my lungs out and no one can hear me because there's no one for miles. I wrecked the trailer getting here. Put up with everything. But the rewards are amazing. Let's get him back in the water. He's been so well behaved. Look at him, just waving, waving that tail. That's how I saw him. I actually, when I'd cast it, I just sight casted him. The moment the lure was in the air, I could see him waving his tail at me. And he liked the look of that prawn. Off you go, mate. He'll be tired. He is a massive 52. He's massive through the guts. Oh, I'm still shaking my whole body. My, my legs and my ass are just <laughs> Oh, God. Let's see if he's ready. Yeah, off you go, mate. Well, there's no getting any of that on this. That's covered in mud. Well, I hope you saw that there, because that was unbelievable. I always say, let's go get another one, but I'm wrecked. I'm ready for a sleep or a lie down. You just... I'm surprised the whole time. I talk to fellas about it and they're the same. Like, you just you try to work these fish out and I've had slow days and just disappointment, but... You just get these surprises and then it changes your attitude about the whole thing or where to fish or how to fish, what to do. You better be enjoying this. Alright, well the sun's just setting and uh... The mess that that jack's left me in has meant the end of my session, so um, I just wanted to make a point before I head home, back to my swag, about just finding the adventure. I, I talk about Pete's Law, about getting owned as much as you can and get working as hard as you can and finding the most far off places that you can, and that's Pete's Law, and the reasons it's, it's Pete's Law is because my mate Pete has taught us all something about finding fish. Five or six years ago, we were all fishing together away for the weekend and Pete came back at 11 o'clock at night. We were all over it, having caught no fish. And I'm sitting around the campfire, everyone's left and Pete rolls in and gives me his phone and says, scroll through this. He lost $400 worth of lures that day, all to fish. But it took an adventure and doing everything he could and not stopping to be able to catch the fish. He lost the $400 worth of lures, jackals and squirrels and x traps and those sorts of lures. It took all that before he got one in. And um, since then, Pete's always sort of said, look, 
you've got to go through all that you've got to go to the furthest place you've got to find the adventure to find the fish and I truly believe it and this this fishing this afternoon is just great proof of that it's probably the most rewarding jack I've been able to get in the boat it's not the biggest but it's the most rewarding and the feeling's fantastic it really is about that adventure and um, I, I kind of get the sense fishing some rivers where it's heavily sort of populated and there's it's very commercial or residential on the banks you don't get get a sense of that adventure so much but coming out here into this skinny water these tiny creeks I definitely feel that that's where the adventures at and um, I'm learning that there's just some unbelievable fishing here as well so I really think it's worth as a tip going out finding whether it's finding on Google Maps or talking to your best mates about where they're going or some creeks that they think they should try because there's just some fantastic fish there's great big fish in here like that that I caught and there's going to be bigger as well that are just waiting to be hit and and a lot of the time they're more aggressive because they don't get the boat traffic they don't get the fishing they don't see a hundred lures a weekend like some of the creeks around the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast do a lot of these waters are untouched and there's teen, there's, teen, there's heaps of them. There's lots of jacks and I mean if you can count only your best jack spots on one or two hands I think this is the best chance to get that feeling about going out and finding more spots because it's just endless. The spots that I'm finding now by doing this and seeking the adventure and finding these fish there's, there's literally tens and tens and tens of spots within a couple of hours of Brisbane and the Gold Coast whether it's south or north and I just think it's worth it you've got to go out you've got to find the adventure and find those fish um, you know if we're gonna do that we've got to look after it as well because it is it's such small small fishing in small creeks that to do it we've really got to look after the spots so you've got to release the fish you know if if you're going to sit here and watch me do these videos and talk about my tips and share ideas and that sort of thing, you've got to be with me on the fact that you've got to catch, care for the fish and then release them because um, you know spots like this can get just decimated, they can get wiped out, the jack populations just so quickly in a matter of a couple of weekends if people are going to go and take the fish. So. You know, those bigger systems, fair enough, if you if you need to feed a fish or you want to feed a fish for that night, fair enough, but there's just no use. I don't see that it's fair um, in this day and age and um, especially, you know, in the future for our kids. It's just, it's the best thing to do is just to release it. The feeling that you get, it's all worth it. So anyway, that's Pete's law. Go out, get owned, go to the end of the earth to find your fish. But find the adventure first and that's where the reward is. I hope you take the tip and I think it's worth sharing. Just over the edge of the log. Oh, you got to give it to it. Oh, there's a whole team of them there. Look at them. There's a whole team of them. Oh. Look at them. Can you see them? Oh, three. Quick drop that down. smaller of the three grabbed it and he's still well over, well over 35 he smashed it got a bit greedy didn't I
trying to get the second and the third. That's what you need a partner in the boat for. So they can get the big one. Whew. smashed the X-Rap so hard and I had to give it give it to him just as good because he was headed straight back in under that log. There he is, another good fish. Check him out. Get him straight back in the water. Yeah, he's just he, he just smashed it so hard. Jeez, it would have been good to get the bigger one. Anyway, we'll keep going and see if they're still interested. in there it's still kicking here it comes here it comes I got it I got it come on fella he's gonna go nuts when he rises yep there he goes Is the take that I love to get. He's buffed up my leader. Pretty nasty. But it's that one when you can see the snag a mile away and you approach and your heart's in your mouth the whole way up to it. You get the right cast in and sure enough the speed they hit it's just it surprises you it gets you every time doesn't it? Makes it all worth it. He's probably legal. Yeah, he's on legal. Well worth it. Let's go and do it again. I just tear him to shreds. That's the paint job left on the bottom of my rack strap. Actually, I better redo that later. 